Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, look at this. We sold out those last couple spots and now coming at you, the Jaspies 24 box high-end monster mixer. And we're giving away a PSA 10 Trey Young at the end of the break. That's pretty nice. So that'll be a re-randomizer at the end along with any other points and whatnot. Uh, Jeremy, what's up? And then here are the boxes right here. Boom, 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 boom. A lot of kind of small, like, one-pack boxes. So this break might be a little bit more more, uh, more quick than I thought. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting to the action. Now, here are some of the congrats to the people who won teams right here. Jeremy33 does not remember ever winning your way into a mixer. Well, you did in uh, Optic Cello 20. So congrats to you. And big thanks to everybody who bought their spots straight up as well. I appreciate that, too. It doesn't matter how you got in. I appreciate that you are in. Thank you. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Four and a one five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five, we've got Daniel down to Gerald. Now, trades are allowed, but remember, just trade at your own risk. A lot of different years, a lot of different rookie classes in this. Five times for the teams. Three and five. Pacers down to Raptors. And remember, a lot of vet opportunities, a lot of Hall of Famer opportunities, and a lot of the boxes too. Daniel with the Pacers, TJ with the Celtics, Kane with the Hornets. Murder Hornets, maybe, Kane Anderson. <laughs> Jonathan with the Trailblazers. Zach Paul with the Bucks. Jimmy with the Cavs. Tony with the Kings. Zach with the Nuggets. Kane with the Bulls. Ryan with the Suns. Brian with the Rockets. Uh, Bill with the Jazz. TJ with uh, TJ Price with the Grizz. Jimmy with the Magic. Kevin with the Heat. Ryan with the Sixers. Joe with the Pistons. Ruben with the Thunder. Jeremy with the Spurs. Jeff with the Nets. Chris with the Warriors. Mitch, last spot, Mojo Wizards. The coach, Paul Nixon with the Mavs. Kellen with the T-Wolves, Zach with the Knicks, Russell with the Pelicans, Asa with the Hawks, Jeremy 33, you got my Lakers, Tony with the Clip Show, and Gerald with the Raptors. And let's sort by column B by team right here. I'm going to pause the video to allow for a bit of the trade window and for me to get supplies and bring boxes onto my break table right here. We will be right back, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. And we're back, and we have a trade, ladies and gentlemen. So Ryan and Mitch made a trade. Mitch is out of the Wizards spot and in the Sixers spot. And Ryan is in the Wizards spot now. We'll put a little T next to there for trade. So if you're watching at home, you know uh, who draws first blood in the trade. The rest of the list remains the same. A lot of trade chatter, but... Eventually, no no deals were done. Oh, we got some poker on TV, too. All right, let's print. Let's rip. The schedule is in the chat, folks. And then um, I'm sure there's some other things we'll be able to add to that schedule once I'm done with this break. So if you have something that's sold out but not in, uh, not on the schedule, it'll eventually be there. All right. So thanks for monster hunting with us, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the official printout, hot off the presses on a Wednesday. Hump day. There's everybody right here. There's everybody right there. Thank you. And good luck. And we'll give this guy away at the very end. So even if you have a bad break, you're like, Joe, oh, man, I, I had a terrible break. You still have a shot at this. Or if you have a great break. You know, if you have a great break, that would be a really nice cherry on top. So a ton of boxes hiding back there. If you look at the Nick Cam, there's a bunch of boxes hiding right over here as well. We counted. It's 24. I'm going to start with some of the – we're going to go through some of the heavier boxes first, really in no particular order. Ones with a lot of base cards and whatnot, and then we'll just keep work. We'll work our way through this meaty stack right here, and then start working our way around. 
Good luck, everybody. And I will try my I'll try my best to save all the uh, all the relics and autographs so we can do a uh, a recap at the end of the video. Barkley doesn't see Rift with MJ being mended, he says. Apparently, Charles Barkley had criticized Michael Jordan over his GMing as a his ownership or GMing of the Charlotte team. I guess during the Bobcats days. And uh, Jordan was like, eh, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm watching ESPN2, poker on ESPN2, if you're into that sort of thing. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Tyler Hero, Hollow. RJ Barrett, My House. Obviously, inserts will ship. Rated rookies are going to ship. Veteran commons, like CJ McCollum, won't ship unless it was like a hollow version here. Obviously, that Chris Milton's a parallel, so that will ship. Kyrie, hollow, will ship. And obviously, Nikhil Alexander Walker is an autograph. That's a hit. That definitely will ship. That goes to Russell Green and the uh, Pelicans. And just in the interest of time. We're not going to top load those right away. We'll have the shipping team take care of that. All right, and here is 1718 Donner's Optic. Uh, the Tatum year. Jeffy, what's going on? I don't understand the narrative of these new State Farm commercials, ladies and gentlemen. What's the deal? So this, this Chris Paul imposter is wandering around trying to be Chris Paul in the presence of Chris Paul. Pretty bold. And yet Jake from State Farm, who allegedly is supposed to be helping Chris Paul, right? Jake, Jake just lets fake Chris Paul walk onto the property and then only comes into, only springs into action and says, like a good neighbor, I'll be here after disaster happens with fake Chris Paul. I'm not sure if State Farm thought thought through the uh, thought through the narrative, in my opinion. Unless I'm missing something. Could be some commercials I missed that explain the narrative. Yeah, State Farm apparently supports stocking. They'll just watch it happen until after it, and then they're like, oh, uh, we may or may not, we may or may not uh, pay for that. We'll send the adjuster out there and see what happens.
All right, that's true. It is Carlton, though. So, like, yeah, from, from Fresh Prince. So, somewhat non-threatening, I guess. Nice chase. Not, not a hollow, but a nice chase and Tatum rated rookie for TJ Leonard and the Celtics. A hollow one would be pretty fantastic. These like LeBron James's have been have been selling pretty well too. These the the LeBron James's and the Kobe's are going to be the only uh, only vet cards that actually will ship, regardless of whether they're a parallel or not. So that'll go to that's Cavs edition. That'll go to Jimmy. Westbrook's to eighty five. To eighty five. Court Kings Westbrook to eighty five. Yeah, forty five out of eighty five. Uh, correct and Giannis. So if, if you, even if you see me pass by those particular, particular gentlemen, then uh, those will still ship. I think that goes nice. Bam out of bio. I think that's like a standing order for almost all of our basketball breaks. All right, next one. This is more 1920 right here. <laughs> Sorry, I don't I don't know if Paul Zipser vet commons will be shipping Jeremy 33. My apologies. Right, I don't. I don't think we're gonna be sending Anthony Bennett fifth-year cards. Apologies. I know. Sorry. I mean, if we find rookie Paul Zipser, he'll definitely ship. Vet Paul Zipser will not. I know. I know he had that one great Bulls playoff game four years ago or something like that. Oh, there's a Zion in that pack and a John in that other pack. Our website card, jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's how you can join these group breaks. All the details of each break is in each product description. Be sure to read the title and the description itself carefully. Prices are there as well. Some are random teams. Some are random numbers. Some you can pick your own team. So it's all there. And things will break when it sells out. Which could be... In five minutes, five hours, five days, depends, but that's generally when it happens. You're welcome. Good luck. Carl Anthony Towns to 199. There's Jared Culver to 59 for the T-Wolves. And there's DeAndre Hunter, rated rookie autograph for Asa, who got randomized to the Hawks. I think there's some decent upside for those for those Hawks youngsters. If they can kind of get get that team to gel, there's Zion all clear for takeoff. Man, I think that's pretty good. Pelicans, Russell Green with the Pels. All of those Zions will all add up. Just a few will probably will probably cover the spot, which is wild. Taco Fall, Hollow. There's the Jaw Morant. Same with same with this TJ Price. The Jaws and and Zion's. Each one of these will uh, will add up to will add up to covering the spot. Believe it or not, that's a lot of great value in this basketball break. James Harden to 199. There's Zion right there. 
Now a hollow Zion will definitely cover the spot on its own, I feel like. And then some. This, a good chunk of the spot. And D'Angelo Russell in the back right here. All right, let's move into 18, 19 hoops. We can find two autographs per box on average. Trey Young on the front here. Remember, we're giving away that Trey Young at the at the very end. We'll re-randomize everybody's names. Name on top, we'll get the Trey Young. I guess if there's any points, second name will get any and all points. And we'll use the same that same dice roll at the end for any other randomizers that we may have to do. All right. Thanks, everyone. Good luck plugging away at all of the action here. Nick just dropped a schedule in the chat. We might be a little under or over. I actually don't know how long this is going to take or how short this might take. So just... We gotta be a little flexible on the on that next Prism Cello pack break, but whenever we're done with this, we'll do the cello, Prism Cello pack, and then Impeccable Hoops after that, and then Leaf Best of Sports after that. But general schedule is in the is in the uh, chat. We'll get there, folks. We'll get there. And remember, we have uh, we adjusted our schedule a little bit to try to squeeze in as many break hours as 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 we're physically able. So I'll go to I'm going from one to nine Tuesday through Saturday West Coast time, LA time, and then Nick will tag in after me after my part of the show is over. Nick will tag in for Nick and Knight, and he'll do a few more hours. So I know it, it may look like the break schedule is filling up rather quickly, but don't worry. Keep buying your spots on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, good luck, everybody. I guess the stream hiccuped for a second. Just refresh, says Nick. And looks like the Sixers draw first blood in the trade. Mitch on the board with Zaire Smith, rookie ink. Not numbered. But there you go. Jason Tatum to nine ninety nine. Uh, we've been doing this for about for about six years now. Card. R.I.P. Kobe. I'm gonna go to Jeremy thirty three. And a nice rookie Trey Young right here. That'll be for Ace and the Hawks. Michael Bridges to 199 for the Suns. See, I'll bet as soon as I turn these cards right side up, see, it'll go back the other way. Hoops drives me crazy. And a nice Luka Doncic for the Mavs. That's Paul Nixon, the coach, Paul Nixon. He's with, probably been with us for almost all of those six years. Same, same with the Zions and the Jaws. 
in this 1819 year, all of those Lucas and and Trey Youngs, even those base cards, will probably add up to uh, will probably add up to take, covering a good chunk of the spot. Paul, believe it or not, well, no, you believe it, and we'll add Sam Perkins to that as well for Paul Nixon. Hoops Inc. We got Zaza Pachulia to 10 for the Pistons. There he is. There's, I got a couple old school Jeremy 33 and the, po the coach, Paul Nixon. All in the house. Are they allowed to, I mean, that, how close is that to, uh, to some copyright violation there? Archaeologists, clearly in the Indiana Jones font. Jones! There's another one, Asa. Parallel this time. No, Nick says uh, Shia is the best Indiana Jones character. Wow. Wow. All right, 13-14. Uh, Panini, it's just, I think it's just Panini basketball. There's no really no name to it. Yeah, Nick's the godfather. Yeah, we, we, we kiss the ring every day. There you go, Tony. She saw the three box new draft mixer from last night. And uh, got that Henry Ruggs the third. Jaspies breaks on the IG card currency. You don't get it. You don't get his personal IG. <laughs> In fact, Jason Jaspi is on right now with personals. This is going to take a while, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're like, eh, I'm not in this break, Joe. I feel like ripping something, though. Then you can visit Jason on our Instagram live, at Jaspi's Breaks. You can order on the, uh, the other website, too, jaspies.com. Uh, yeah, this is an important year for the Bucks. Zach Paul, who won a spot in the Cello Pack break and got randomized the Milwaukee Bucks. This is the box you gotta pay attention to. Yeah, there you go. Zach Paul saying a few minutes ago, Giannis rookies, let's go. Like one or two Giannis rookies right here will help cover a good chunk of the spot. Right? A good grade will cover many, many spots. Watch out, Timeless Treasures. There might be Giannis's in there. See that Timeless Treasures tumble on here? They were jealous. Like, hey, we're important too. We'll get to you guys. Uh, actually, yeah, James, we'll do we'll do, we'll do that. But I mean, it's got to be if we pull like a hundred dollar card for you. <laughs> I mean, you got to pay for it. But if we pull like a fifty dollar card, I don't think we'll be in that much of a rush to express it. 
You know, but if you legit pull like a like a Zion or a, you know, I don't know, like a thousand dollar card or something like that, and you want to use a different service, yeah, absolutely, we can take care of you. It's just it'll be a little extra, but instead of our usual free shipping, but a lot of times it's worth it. I gotta go slowly because I don't want to miss an upside down Zion. Or, I mean, upside down Giannis. Yeah. Started yesterday. Somebody opened one. Didn't we have a Zeller? Isn't, isn't there a Zeller in the in one of our breaks today? Brian Zeller, who has the Rockets? Maybe a relation to Cody Zeller? There's Cody. Remember, all of, these are, all of these will ship. Kobe and LeBron will be the only vet commons that will ship. Or in Giannis as well. But we're not, right now we're looking for Giannis rookies here. Like this guy. There we go. Look how young he looks. And kind of skinny right here too. Back in 2013, I feel like... I feel like we couldn't sell... We had a hard time selling any of those 2013-14 products. You could probably dig up videos of me just, you know, from back in that era of, of us just breezing by Giannis Silvers, which were maybe five bucks back then when we were ripping these this kind of year more consistently, and now add a bunch of zeros to that. That's why, I don't know, hang on to some of the, some of the rookies with upside because you, you never know. You never know what they can turn into. There is Jerome Williams for the Raptors. That's going to be for Gerald. Yeah, Ryan's saying, I'm a Wisconsin boy, so Giannis is my guy. Back in 2013-14, it was only our Wisconsin crew that was saying, who's got a lot of upside at Giannis. You know, but even then, I mean, I don't think I don't think he was really selling for that much. But of course, nowadays, Giannis rookies. I think Paul Nixon was mentioning earlier how just any 13-14 box simply because of Giannis has just skyrocketed because of him. We got Ola Depot rookies in here too, remember? That goes to the magic that'll be for Jimmy Connell. So guys like Oladipo and Giannis, you know, are a good example. I mean, there's the Nerlens Noels as well, but you know, a lot of other scrubs. But you know, it's worth basketball, especially. It's worth hanging on to. Because you never know. I think the Lakers still are paying Luel Deng after stretching out his contract. And they're paying him like a couple million a year or something like that. And it eats up cap space, I think, too. And we've got a rated rookie, relic and autograph, Glenn Rice Jr., 60 out of 100 for the Wizards. Ryan on the board with the Wizards. All right, there we go. I'm glad we got at least one Giannis rookie out of there. Nice. All right, let's... I want to move some heavier stuff out of the way first. Let's get that elite out of the way. Let's stay in that Giannis frame of mind right here. Oh no, Paul Nixon. I know, I'm sure a lot of people have stories like that. Paul Nixon saying, I remember selling a BGS 95 Giannis Prism rookie, non-silver, for like a couple hundred bucks. Now they're like 2,000 bucks. 
Yeah, truth. Truth. So the the idea of of investment, you know, is it, it does kind of exist. I know that that was kind of a dirty word in the '80s and '90s. Like, oh, you can invest. These cards are investments, and then it was like a big lie, right? It never turned out to be that. But I think nowadays we're kind of reaching, we're kind of coming back to a point where where you can consider like at least hoops basketball cards and boxes and stuff as investments even if it's short-term investments like three to five years or something like that I mean there's a lot of return on that yeah well yeah we win some lose some so I mean think about all the breaks think about all the breaks that we've done back in the day with all the we've probably pulled dozens of silver Giannis's to be honest with you <laughs> Out of both, out of Prism and Select and and everything. So, gosh, I'm sure there are a lot of people who have probably sold those for like nothing <laughs> back in the day. And um, you know, and are probably kicking themselves right now. But it's tough. You got you got to think of it as a, uh, but yeah, you can definitely play investment game with this. You know I, I, that that you you are able to play that game. One is able to play that game. There's the elite. What's up, TJ? What's going on? Right. Oh. That's, that's actually something that's got to be worth randomizing at the end. So we'll, we'll I'll put this next to the tray, Young, so I remember to randomize both of those. But yeah, yeah, 90s basketball, I think... I think that's been picking up, and I'm sure Last Dance has certainly kind of helped. But there's been a boost in in people looking for like old school rookies and stuff too. There's Terrence Ross and Kenny Skywalker, another randomizer, 19 out of 25. So that's another randomizer at the end between the Knicks and the uh, Raptors. Uh, Alex Donnelly has a sad story for us too. AD saying my biggest mistake was selling a, ooh, a Trout Bowman Chrome Auto Refractor for eighty when it first came out. I think that's cards worth a little more now. Wow, Tyler, you have an eighteen eighty four Mark McGuire card. That's crazy. That's probably worth millions. What's up, Colin? It was Gallinari, die cut to 24. The Maguire card, you should just look up on eBay. You may see, oh yeah, for these older cards, it's gonna go to New Orleans, by the way, we're going by a city. Just look it up on, uh, on the bay, eBay. You might be able to get a good idea of that. But with a handwritten number on the back though, that's interesting. Was that after 
Do you think that's like aftermarket, or do you think that that was part of the set when it first came out? There's Larry Bird. There's Joakim Noah die cut to 87. I didn't miss any Giannis's here, right? There's Tim Duncan, Dominator's Relic for the Spurs. And that's going to go to Jeremy. No, says Zach. All right, yeah, I was paying attention to the chat. I was like, oh, I hope I didn't miss a Giannis here. Still a little stack left here. Jersey Autograph. 20, uh, 285 out of 299. Fat Lever. Throwback threads. Jersey and auto for the Denver Nuggets. Zach Paul. Nate Wolders. Save that. Got LeBron James Heat edition off to the side. Giannis, Giannis, Lance Stevenson, no Giannis. All right, we're we're getting to some of the nicer stuff here. Let's let's get contenders has a lot of cards in there. Let's move that out of the way. That's nineteen twenty contenders. I'm making some decent time on this mixer, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think there's really an obvious. Well, we'll probably end with that choice box back there. Maybe, well, maybe a Zion box or something like that. Maybe that optic choice box at the end. Maybe the two choice box at the end. That might be. That might be what, what I'll do. All right, good luck, everybody. What would I do for a Klondike bar, asks Rex. Nothing. They're not they're they're not that great. No, they are. It's just messy. It's just too messy to eat. Way too messy to eat. This is Chamberlain. Not numbered. That's a cool looking insert though. Still ship. And we got Mufondu Cabanelli. Contenders, rookie ticket auto in that sort of optic design there, optic format. That'll be for the clip show. That's going to go to Tony and the Clippers. And there's the Admiral, Admiral Schofield. Cracked ice and on card autograph. One of the nicest autos in the hobby. Ryan with the Wizards. Got him in a trade. I think Wizards have the slight edge in the trade thus far. Still a ton of boxes to go. I want him to make it. I want him to like blow up because he's got such a great auto. All calves there. And we've got a, out of 149, Carl Anthony Towns semifinal ticket for the T-Wolves. That'll be for Kellen. There's Kobe White, lottery ticket insert. That'll go to the Bulls. It's 
Romeo Langford. And we've got for the Suns, Dario Saric. 195 out of 199 for Phoenix, Ryan Shackleton with that one. There's Tyler Hero. Cousins. Team Quads. There's LeBron. Another Carl Anthony Towns. Finals ticket to 65. Another T Wolf. Yeah, was that a bonus auto? There was an extra auto in there, wasn't there? All right, let's let's what do, what should we move into? How about this 1516 select basketball? And remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you're if you're in this mixer and you're new to basketball. It's not always the it's not always just relics and autos that are like big hits like any of the big rookie names or even second tier rookie names parallels could go for a lot more than you think on a secondary market. And yeah, and as Paul Nixon was saying earlier, all the, a lot of those like 90s basketball cards and even some of the top rookies from the 80s and 90s are kind of making a little bit of a comeback. Basketball itself in the last two years has been has been really hot. People are rediscovering, oh, this was LeBron's first card in Donner's Optic Basketball. So LeBron cards out of that first one has been selling for a lot more than you think. So there's just been a general boost in... Um, just a general boost in a lot of these cards and rookies and parallels, more so than a lot of other sports. Yeah, all rookie cards and inserts will ship. So it's just veteran commons, like that won't ship, but that's a rookie. So all of these RCs will ship. Right, D Wade. That's a parallel, so that will ship. Although I think everything in select ship, just because they have the different, all the different levels. Nice Porzingis rookie card. That'll be for Zach Paul, who got randomized the Knicks. Man, if if Porzingis and uh, Doncic really start. To start gelling. That's going to be a scary team right there. There's D Wade. Die cut for the Heat. Kobe from Select. And another randomizer. 80 out of 149. City to City. Nick Young. From Philadelphia to LA. And Anthony Davis to 99, autograph, wow. That's pretty nice. Pelicans edition going to Russell Green. 78 out of 99. Very nice. What's up, Matt Gomes? What's going on? Chris Paul, tie-dye for New Orleans to 25. And we got Montrez Harrell to 199, die cut for the Rockets, Rockets edition. And Chris, Mc remember Chris McCullough, two out of 99. Rookie relic for uh, Jeffrey 
with the Brooklyn Nets. So Nets with a little something. Tristan Thompson, that checkerboard. X Fractor, they used to call back in the day. All right, so that was Old Select. Not a bad box of Old Select. So what else should we do here? Should we get maybe move this large box out of the way, this mega box? All right, this is 1819 Donner's Optic. Good luck. Doncic, Trey Young here. All right, nothing. To, oh, maybe in here? So, uh, pink Hyper? Doncic, Doncic. Where are you? Or Trey Young, for that matter. Lonnie Walker. So these aren't numbered, by the way. But I think this is exclusive to this set. Jared Vanderbilt, Mari Spellman. No, nothing there. All right, so many choices now. Maybe we'll, uh, I don't know. Now let's get to some fun stuff here. How about some, uh, well, it's all fun stuff, but so then the, the one pack stuff. Timeless Treasures from 13-14. So we're still thinking Giannis here. I guess Julius Dr. J is going to help us here. Here's KD, it's 299. OKC edition. There is, oh nice, perennial materials, Shaquille O'Neal, 13 out of 25, Magic Edition. Jimmy with the Magic. Nice, Shaq Daddy, big Aristotle, the big Diesel. Game more material, it says right there, that's pretty cool too. And we've got Jeff Withy, jersey and autograph, Pelicans. That'll be for Russell. And we've got validating marks. One out of five, Alan Houston. For Detroit, Joe Drobeck tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Our first train whistle of the mixer. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! All right, maybe just handle the box in front of me right here, 16, 17, Court Kings. Make myself a little room in the middle of the table here. There's the box topper, which some, some of those box hoppers could be autographed. You're welcome, Joe. Still many more boxes to go. 
down here. All right, there's a Giannis and a Jimmy Butler. All sorts of fun stuff in here. J.R. Smith, Andrew Wiggins. We got Torn Prince. There you go, uh, level one rookie. Jamal Murray, that's a nice one. Level three rookie. For Denver, that'll be for Zach Paul. And a Malik Beasley, portraits to 175. There's Boogie Cousins right here. And an A.J. Hammonds relic, Art Nouveau relic for Paul and the Mavs. And we've got Chris Dunn. Nice. Fresh paint. On card autograph. Chris Dunn for the T Wolves. Callan. There's the number right there. 175 out of 200. Oh man, Jay, you you walked right into that one. That that's a that's a that, that's a that's a old Rex joke right there. There's Devin Booker. All right, there you go. Nice box topper. All right, they're going to the Phoenix Suns. That'll be for Ryan. All right, Where all, what else do I want? What about this Crown Royale from 1718? All right, Fernando, what's going on? All right, there's Mo Harkless. We got a nice LeBron James to 99 Cavs edition and the Yao Ming die cut to 75. We've got a piston. We've got Ben Wallace autograph. Nice. 9 out of 25. Joe Drobeck with another piston. Rudy Gobert to 2 4. Apparently. Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert uh, didn't talk to each other for a couple months. I guess Donovan Mitchell is pretty annoyed at Rudy Gobert. He's like, come on, man. I'm not taking this seriously enough. Let's go back in time to some innovation. 1213 innovation. And obviously these will go to Jeremy 33 and the Lakers. Could be autographed, could be some numbered Kobe's in there too. That's a 349. Right, yeah. Well, some would argue that Rudy saved a lot of lives. What if they just kept going? There could have been more COVID all over the place. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We've got, kind of hard to see over there, there, but it's Kevin Martin. Harrison Barnes is your autograph, rookie auto, for the Warriors. That'll be for Chris Rowe. There's Darius Morris, Lakers autograph for Jeremy 33. And Markeith Morris, Relic, 48 out of 99. All right, Kobe Pax. Oh, miss this guy. 
Now, you know what I would do? I would just, I would just like frame all these. Put them in a nice, nice frame. All right, still a lot of boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, might as well, well why don't we work on this retail right here? So this is a little bit of a heavier box here. All right, good luck. So I think most of these are gonna be 2019, 2020 now, ladies and gentlemen. There is a Cornerstones from 1819. Oh, maybe I'll do that limited basketball back there too. All right, we'll get the older stuff out of the way first, or after this one, and then we'll, uh, then we'll close with the 19 and 20 stuff. Uh, I did enjoy the Kobe segment of The Last Dance. I like that the episode 5 was dedicated to him. I thought there was going to be a little more more Kobe commentary. But uh but I, it's not a Kobe documentary, so maybe maybe we'll see more of him later in later episodes, but no, I thought I thought it was really nice. I think uh I was reading what the the director was saying what was the director? I think the director, Jason Eyre, I think. H-E-I-R, something like that. I think he was saying that that was, interview was maybe May of 2019 or something like that. Oh, yeah, kind of, kind of crazy. I'm just less than a year. All right. I mean, and I want to say that this project has been in the works for I don't know how Jason Air, the the particular person attached to it now. I don't know how long he's been personally working on it, but. I think this idea of all that last dance footage from that last year has been bouncing around for a while, obviously since that time period, and it hasn't really come together until until pretty recently. It's Cam Reddish, Red Wave, nice. But I think I think it's been a pretty pretty great documentary thus far. I've been I've been enjoying it a great deal. Nice Zion, right? The base Zion for Russell and the Pelicans. Let's to all all these add up. Like that Zion, that adds up. Rajan Rondo, Emergent Hachimura, Silver, it's a nice one, couple Red Waves, Jarrett Culver rookie, and we got Jarrell Brantley, is your rookie penmanship autograph for the Utah Jazz, that's going to be for Bill, Bill on the board with the Jazz. And you got Wes Matthews, Kevin Huter, and Rajon Rondo. Yeah, that All Star game. Jordan talking about Kobe. I thought was 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 pretty nice too. Let's 
get that limited back here. There it is. More Kobe. That's right. Yeah, Kobe did. Kobe filmed his entire final season, so there could be a similar such thing, such project in the works too. All right, Cody Chapman, what's going on? Yeah, so far so good. Staying healthy out here. The team is team is happy and healthy. And people keeping us busy, so so far so good. Thanks for asking. Joachim Noah, 9 out of 49, jersey and auto for the Bulls. That'll be for Kane Anderson. Behind John Lucas is Quincy Acey. Die cut autograph to 399. That goes to. I'm just going to top this because it's a little fragile. Um, Gerald with the Raptors. I also want to say Kawhi Leonard to 49. Center stage. I also want to say that they try to get. When did Jerry Krause pass away? That's uh, for the Spurs. That'll be for Jeremy, Jeremy Agno. I want to say that that the director said that that uh, Jerry Krause was like one of the first interviews he wanted to get locked in, you know. But he had passed away, unfortunately, and so there's only archival footage of of him now. Which I think would have added a nice layer to this whole whole documentary. More Kobe's for Jeremy thirty three. All right. And we got that. Cornerstones. Krauss passed away March twenty seventeen. Jay is saying, yeah. So that was, that was unfortunate. You guys hear uh, Ken Burns, who I enjoy. I enjoy Ken Burns' work a lot. Ken Burns, though, I feel like was being a little bit of a stick in the mud and was just like, I don't like it. It's not a real documentary because Jordan's production company was attached to attached to it, which I kind of I, I get, but it seems like Jordan's been pretty forthcoming. There's Nick Van Exel to 129. Nice. Lakers, Jeremy, 33. Serge Ibaka to 129. Elemental autograph for the Raptors, Gerald. And there's a Knox in the box. Building blocks. Kevin Knox. Knicks. Zach Paul. Yeah, I do, I do enjoy Ken Burns' work. Baseball is great. And I've been re-watching, like, Civil War for, like, the eighth time. Yeah, Nick Van Exel definitely uh, kind of gobbled up that, that, that era in the 90s, which was sad times for, for the Lakers. Because it was, it was post-Showtime, pre-Kobe. But Nick Van Exel made basketball. Pretty pretty fun to at least entertain to watch in LA in the mid nineties. All right. <laughs> so all of these cards, of course, will ship. Those uh, parallels are not numbered, by the way. Let me slide those out here. So the Oladipo, Dragic, now obviously it's all going to ship, but there are very short prints right there. That LeBron was nice too, whoever has the Cavs. James Connell, Jimmy Connell with that one. Terry Giles. Kyle Kuzma, nice. 
And we've got a Markel Fultz, 37 out of 99 autograph out of this old mosaic. Nice. That'll be for Mitch and the Sixers. Still have hope that he's going to be like a late bloomer. And just really, just really emerge. All right, so Zach, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes remaining. I'm gonna do the, the two choice boxes last. Then we'll do the blasters right here. So we'll do the three choice boxes at the end right here. So I'm gonna do fast break, hanger, two blasters, and the three choices. I did not see, going back to Ken Burns, yeah, Jeremy33 saying many more latest to MJ story. Go for it, Ken. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Ken Burns' treatment. Michael Jordan, 23 episodes. Nice long-form documentary. But yeah, Prohibition I haven't seen. Um, and Vietnam, I think, is fantastic. I haven't rewatched Jazz in a long time. I think the Jazz one's really good too. Music, not the not the team. A choice is just few. It's just like a few cards in each box for choice. So there's essentially no or very little base cards. I want to say in choice, it's usually one pack per box, and a lot of exclusive parallels. And the per box price got really expensive too. But yeah, I mean, they've got like 90 different variations for each of these products right here. It's almost, it's almost hard to keep track. Like this is fast break, right? Fast break, retail, hobby, choice, fanatics, this, that, the other. It's it's all over the place. be kind of like hybridy except except choice which has gotten in the last couple of years has gotten really popular I want to say there's Enos Cantor to 85 there's Daniel Gafford let me grab that Luka Doncic too this even the second year Luka Doncic's have been doing okay on the secondary market believe it or not RJ Barrett, the rookies, and Wes Matthews for the Bucks. Fast break signatures. That'll be for Zach Paul. Markel Fultz again to 95 for the Orlando Magic, Jimmy Connell. Jackson Hayes, silver for the Pels. And John Morant, disco. Nice. I think they're called disco, right? Or bubbles? 
Disco, something like that. It's nice. TJ Price with the Grizz. It's going to cover a nice chunk of the spot. Zach Levine to 50. And Sekou Demboya rookie in the back there too. All right, retail hanger here. Theo saying, if it's called choice, what are we choosing? You ever thought of that? Who's choice? What are you choosing? You're choosing to buy that product. That's what you're choosing. And Panini has chosen the choice. The choice is, choice is for choice. Thaddeus Young, Mike Scott Green, we got Mo Bamba. These aren't numbered, these orange cracked ices, but they're pretty nice. Nice uh, rookie, Tyler Hero for the Heat, Kevin. Alonzo Mourning. And James Harden. That's how I've always thought of it, Zach Paul. Like a nice choice cut of meat. So they kind of cut the cut the cut the fat off of the sides there. You get a nice choice cut. All right, blaster. Another nice rookie, Seiko Dimboya, right on top. Mitchell Robinson, silver, and we got a Nicola Batum for Charlotte. Sensational relic for Kane and the Hornets. KCP Green, remember these are not numbered, but they will ship. Emergent, John Morant Silver, nice. TJ Price, who won this spot in Optic Cello 20 and got randomized the Grizz and gets a nice silver Emergent John Morant. And a silver Kobe White for the Bulls, Kane Anderson. All right, now an op Donruss Optic Basketball Blaster. So yeah, so you, can, you can see the different exclusives that you can get there. All right, good luck. Good luck. We're almost done, folks. We're making pretty decent time on this break. I think about, about what I originally thought. Kobe insert. Barton has done what he needs to do. Everyone else at this table understands the situation. 
in here, they could benefit big time. Hollow Jabari Parker, Ren Clark, Lonzo, Jay Crowder, Evan Fournier, and Nasir Little, rated rookie, autograph for Portland. That's going to go to Jonathan L. with the Trailblazers. My House, Kobe White, and Cody Martin. All right, now some of the good stuff here. Let's do Donruss Choice. Jeremy 33 was at a Walmart today and peeked at the hobby cart section. Completely savage, he says. Yeah, that's pretty wild. That's what I've been hearing too. It's, it's hard to get anything at the retail stores. All right, Clay Thompson. Tremont Waters to 35. There's Rudy Gobert to 99. The Clay Thompson was to 99 as well. That's RJ Barrett flipped around. What does that mean? Autograph? Yes. RJ Barrett auto. That's for Zach Paul and the New York Knicks. He won that spot in Cello Pack 18. Not too shabby at all. And the second auto is Jalen Brunson, 28 out of 99 for Paul Nixon and the Mavs. There's the Jarrett Culver, Darius Garland, Matisse Tybel, Town Horton Tucker, and Jordan Bad to the Bone. All right, uh, let's do Donner's Optic Choice. One autograph in here. No, it's not. Um, so the Donruss, kind of hard to see on the camera, but it's a little bit thinner and it's more, it's more papery, I guess. And the Donruss Optic has that optic sort of technology, so it feels more like those chrome, like a chrome card which you'll see in just a second right now. So you can see kind of the difference right there. Here's Ricky Rubio, Joe Ingles, and plus different parallels and, and everything too. Different inserts as well. Jalen Noel, signature series autograph. I kind of like his auto there too. That goes to Callan and the T-Wolves. Scott, like I'm not sure, is that like a like a crown on top of his autograph there, something like that. There's Kyrie, Grant Williams rated rookie, and a Kobe White for the Bulls, Kane Anderson, nice. And the last one here. Prism, choice. Cal, you don't know who Jalen Jalen Noel is? No, Noel. Everyone knows who Jalen Noel is. I mean, Callan must not be a uh, a big basketball fan. I mean, I know all about Jalen Noel. Noel, the, the second round pick out of Washington, man. Remember when he was a Pac-12 Player of the Year in 2019? And part of the uh, first team all Pac-12 in 2019? 6 4 201. July 9th, 1999 is his birthday. There you go. Yeah. Everyone knows. Uh, born to Lane. Oh, Laney and Mike Knoll, obviously. The parents. Met at Clark Atlanta University. You know, it's from the East Coast, from Atlanta. 
Born in Seattle. There you go. So, anyway. What? I'm not looking at Wikipedia. What are you talking about? I just I just follow basketball really closely, Kellen. That's just all off the top of my head. We got Daniel Gafford. I don't know the Wikipedia. Alonzo Trier. I like that those tiger stripe ones. And this is a great time to get Tony Kukoc. It's pretty appropriate. Good time to get this, Kane Anderson. A lot of Tony Kukoc in the last dance. There you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the break. There's Eric Pascal. Red scope to 88. You got these tricolor ones right here. The Hakeem Olajuwon. The Aaron Gordon. And the... Boyan Bogdanovich as well. There you go. And there you have it, boys and girls. Pretty solid break, if I do say so myself. We do have some randomizers we need to knock out here. So I need four different lists here. And then I'll do a little recap after this. After these randomizers. So let's go. Oh, let's go back to random.org. Two, three. And uh, let's get the teams logged in here. We got that city to city Nick Young from Philadelphia to the Los Angeles Lakers. We've got the dual autograph, um, the Kenny Skywalker and Terrence Ross. The Miami LeBron and Kobe Lakers. And then the Trey Young. And everybody has a shot at the Trey Young. Everyone from Asa all the way down to Ryan and everybody in between. Same dice roll for all of the lists. Eight. Five and a three for all four lists. Two, three, four, five. And eighth and final time. Team on top is going to be Philadelphia. So Philly will get that. Uh, will get the Nick Young. There you go. Kind of hard to catch the light right there, but there you have it. All right. Dual autograph, eight times. Seven and eighth and final time. After eight times, New York Knicks with that one, and that will be for Zach Paul. We've got the Kenny Skywalker and Terrence Ross on the backside. <laughs> We got the face to face card out of Elite. Five and a three, eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. And eighth and final time after eight goes to Miami. Geez, sorry, Jeremy. Kevin with the Miami Heat. All right, and now everyone has a shot at the Trey Young PSA 10, Gem Mint 10. Nice. All right, so once again, five and a three, eight times, name on top after eight gets it. Six, seven, and eighth and final time. Big thanks everybody who got into the break. Really appreciate it.
name on top after eight is going to be Kevin. There you go, Kevin, that Trey Young going your way. I don't think I called your name too often during the break, but when it counted, Trey Young time. There you go. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks, everyone, for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. For those of you sticking around for the recap, here's the quick autograph, relic, and Ja Moran and Kobe White recap right here. R.J. Barrett autograph was nice. I mean, all of these Morants and Zions will all add up. Those R.J.'s as well, the LeBrons. I mean, the, the, the price and the value of, uh, of all of these cards in recent years has been pretty, pretty incredible. And all of all of the Kobe vet cards, all of the LeBron veteran cards, veteran commons, you know, like this one, and all the Giannis's will ship as well. Second year Luka Doncic's and whatnot. So keep an eye out for those. We did get a Giannis rookie card back there. Some Trey Young rookies, Doncic rookies. All of those will add up. More Zion's, Jaws, Zion's, DeAndre Hunter, Jason Tatum. And Nikhil Alexander Walker, I believe, was the first autograph of this entire 24 box high end monster mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.